What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Girls. to keep everything as simple as possible. For instance, our tree here, we keep our decorations plastic and easily accessible just in case something were to happen in the tree were to fall or we were to have some type of meltdown, we would be able to get it back up with no issues. We don't use any type of glass ornaments because we don't want to clean up glass. Um, you want to try to make your house as simply decorated as possible because you don't want too much going on. It can be a trigger to um, some kids when things are too busy. As far as the tree goes, again, we have white lights and they aren't blinking because blinking lights can be a trigger as well. Um, colored lights can be a trigger as well. So we just try to keep it as simple as possible. Simple decorations simple everything just try to make things as easy for you and your family as possible try to be around people who your child are familiar with um who will help out if needed to be they're very comfortable around you know, um, not easily offended when giving gifts to a child with autism um be mindful that when you give them a gift, it might not, you might not get the reaction that you're looking for, um, number one. And number two, make sure you tell them what they will or they possibly will and they possibly won't get for Christmas. Because when they give you their list and say, I want this for Christmas, I want that for Christmas, in their head, they're thinking that they are going to get that gift. Now, if you and your spouse have decided against it, then you need to let the child know, I'm sorry, but you will not be receiving that for Christmas. That way <clears throat> it cuts down on behaviors that might arise when they become disappointed on Christmas. So that way you just narrow everything down. They are not expecting to get it and you'll go ahead and deal with that before Christmas and not on the day. Christmas is very hustle and bustle for parents. So when visiting um, friends, family houses, make sure that there's a space for your child to take a break. Don't expect too much. Now it's very possible that on Christmas your child could come out, open their gifts, and just be gone for the rest of the day and just want to be by themselves and not be, want to be bothered with the Christmas festivities. It's okay. For them not to don't try to expect too much out of them don't try to push them to do things that they don't want to do of course offer but if there is a no i don't want to don't try to encourage them or push them to do anything that they are not comfortable with because that is just recipe for disaster it's very possible that that can trigger a meltdown as long as your child is happy that's all that matters Planning how your day will go with your child will benefit you later. Your child will cope with it better knowing what and when they can go back to their safe place. Always make time for yourself. 
it is hard enough being a parent, but being a parent with a kid who has autism is even more challenging. So make sure you take time for yourself so that you can relax, so that you can release some energy. You can go for a walk. You can have your glass of wine. You can, you know, just meditate. Whatever it is you need to do to calm yourself and take care of yourself, do that. Because if you fall apart, then your whole house falls apart. Depending on the type of issues your child has, as far as food, your child may have problems with the texture. Uh, you basically need not to worry about the child's appetite. Normally, like my daughter, she eats when she wants to. She eats crazy, which means she'll eat mostly like um, pastries, bread, macaroni and cheese. And being a parent, we sort of like panic when your child doesn't eat. But no worry, when she get hungry, she'll eat. When he he get hungry. As far as fun, make sure you have some type of game that your child can participate in with everyone else. Um, now, our main object before the holidays is to include everyone and to make sure that everyone is entertained and having fun. So try to find some type of game that your child will be interested in so that they can be included as well. Be proud of yourself. You made it despite the highs and lows of parenthood and having a child with autism. Pat yourself on the back. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye.